Before we start explaining the sine law, it is important to know some notation. When we have a triangle, we denote the vertices with capital letters, A, B, C, and this A not only denotes the vertex, but the measure of this angle. This B is not only the vertex, but the measure of that angle. And we denote the length of the sizes by lowercase letters like A, B, and C. And we have to be careful that lowercase a is opposite to the vertex a, lowercase b is opposite to the vertex b, and lowercase c is opposite to the vertex c. With this notation, the sine law says that a over sine of the angle a is b over sine of the angle b, and is equal to c over sine of the angle c. We can also write this law as sine of A over A, sine of B over B, equal to sine of angle C over lowercase c. In general, if we want to find a side, we use this form of the sine law, and when we want to find an angle, we use this form of the sine law. Uh, let's do an example. Let's suppose that we have here A, B, and C, and let's suppose that this is 41 degrees, that this is 75 degrees, and that this is 10. Notice that in this case, this is A, and anytime we have a triangle, and we know what I call a pair. A pair is when we have an angle, and the side opposite to the angle. Then here we have a pair. Then anytime we have a pair, we use the sine law. Let's use the sine law. For example, if we want to find B, then we will do B over sine of B. But what is angle B? Angle B is equal to 180 minus 75 degrees minus 41 degrees and this is equal to 64 degrees and then we have lowercase b over 64 degrees is equal to the pair that we know 10 over sine of 41 degrees and from here when we multiply by sine of 64 degrees we get that b is equal to 10 times sine of 64 degrees over sine of 41 degrees and this is equal to 10 times sine of 64 divided by sine of 41 this is equal to 13 point let's say 6999 now Let's find C. We apply, we say C over sine of 75 degrees. Notice that even though we now have two pairs because we know B and angle B, I prefer to use the pair angle A, side A, because this, is, this pair doesn't have any error. This one has an error because we are doing some rounding here. Then I will do this is equal to A over sine of angle A and therefore C when I multiply by sine of 75 is equal to 10 times sine of 75 degrees over sine of 41 degrees and this is equal to 14.99 Notice that we have solved the triangle. To solve the triangle means to find all the sizes. We have A, B, C, and, on the, and all the angles. Angle A, angle B is 64 degrees, and angle C. An observation about having a pair. Notice that in this problem, if we have, like, this is 35 degrees, and this is, um, let's say, 61 degrees, 
and this is 12. In this case, even though it looks like we don't have a pair, we do because when we have the two angles, we can easily find the third angle. In this case, angle C is 180 minus 35 degrees minus 61 degrees, which is equal to 84 degrees. And then once we have that this is 84 degrees, now we have a pair. We have that lowercase c is 12 and angle c is 84 degrees. Then in this case, we can also, we can proceed in the same way and we can compute lowercase a and lowercase b.